So we're shooting this video to discuss structural cracks, the noises that they make, again, how we go about fixing them. So when you have a structural crack, as I described in our structural repair seminar, um, we talk about something called the sweet spot. So the sweet spot is, is we could have a six foot crack and only two inch of a, inches of that structural crack will be leaking. And if you listen to the whole crack, you won't hear anything until you get over that spot. That's why we developed something called the spot mic. So in the past, we would use SM1s, the side mics, when we're standing on a wall, or we would use the drop and drag pull scope, and we would throw it out, drop it, pull it, listen, pull it, listen. Now we're able to control what we do. So we put this on the end of a pool pole, and then we hold it throughout the whole length of the whole crack, and we're able to actually listen for that crack specifically. Again, same quality of sound, Again, I'm not saying don't use the pull scope, I'm not saying use the SM1. If you have that, that's fine. But if you add this to your arsenal, it'll make life a lot easier when it comes to finding the actual sweet spots of those structural cracks. When it comes to repairing the structural cracks, again, a post-tension staple, the torque lock staple is what we recommend using. It's the only post-tensioning strengthening device on the market. So again, we drill on either side of the crack, we put our template on, we cut around the crack, and now we cut wide. So we take a nice wide cut. We set our templates within that wide cut. And one of the processes of doing the actual structural repair is, is using a waterproof product. So after we cut our wide, we set our staples, and we patch over the staples, and then what we use is a product called Membrane C. There's other waterproofing products. You don't have to stick to just one. Membrane C seems to work with us. We like to use a colored product so that you can see the application and see that it's getting um, full coverage of what you need to do. And then we're just doing our plaster patches on top of that. So if we do ever have re-cracking, if we do ever have a failure, again, we have less than a 5% failure rate, but if we do have a failure, chances are it's not going to leak. For more information, visit leaktronics.com and always check out our YouTube channel.